This video is an extension of my study on blame force law and the 2020 election. And it is motivated by my YouTube followers. Basically, they asked two questions. The first question is, what if we shift votes randomly from one candidate to the other? Like, uh, uh, in the uh, in certain districts, uh, the machine is not working. Just uh, you know, throwing certain uh, number or percentage of votes uh, from one candidate to to the other. So the question is, do the curve deviate? Do the curves deviate from blame force law? So it, it, so we want to find out whether it's a uh, vote shifting. Uh, whether uh, Benfors law can catch vote shifting. So perhaps uh, the vote shifting is not a systematic. Uh, instead of uh, shifting uh, like 5% uh, from one candidate to, to the other for all, for all counties or districts. How about let's just, uh, you know, it's not a widespread. So let's say just 30% uh, of county results. Let's do shifting. 30% or 20% or you know 10% does that does that influence our results or can Benford law Benford's law detect such behavior the second question is uh, instead of uh, shifting votes there are claims that uh, you know, a certain number of votes are just added to a certain candidate. So my question is, will Benford's law detect this behavior? So of course we don't have real data, but we do have the original data. This is a, the data is for USA, all counties included. And the chart is something like this. So this black curve is Benford's law prediction. And uh, the blue curve is uh, Joe Biden, whereas the uh, Donald Trump is a red curve, a red column. And uh, from this chart for the US, uh, all counties included, we observe the leading digit of their vote count in all counties conform to the Benford's law. So there is little deviation. So that's our uh, original data. And what we plan to do is to uh, do a simulation to simulate hypothetically, see if we shift from one candidate to the other, a certain percentage of votes, are we going to observe irregular irregular columns for that shifted for 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 after the shift uh, vote shifting so if it is so then the Benford's law can detect such behavior if we do not observe uh, any changes in the curve then uh ben Benford's law does not apply or cannot detect the vote shifting or adding vote so let's get started. Let's get started. So first, let's do vote shifting. So the plan is, so we shift votes. So this, this is the original data. So for counties, for different counties, and uh, a different, uh, let's say this is uh, for, for these counties, okay? So that's the original data. And uh, the plan is just to reduce one candidate by 15% in this case for all counties. And uh, that 15% reduced will be added to another candidate, to another candidate. And uh, once we have done this vote shifting, we retrieve the left digit, retrieve the left digit and redo the counting, recount, and uh, recalculate the percentage and see if we observe any shifting. 
behavior. So this represents a systematic vote shifting. And uh, the new curve is something like this. So we do not observe any deviations, significant deviations after vote shifting. So that's for 15%. We can do, if we don't shift any, so the curve looks like this. If we shift 5%, if we shift 15%, if we shift 20%, so the curve still conforms to Benford's law even after 20% vote shifting. I know you, you can experiment with uh, uh, more, uh, more percentages. But so far we do not observe any changes. So the Benford's law fails to detect such uh, vote shifting behavior. So one may argue that uh, this shifting is just uh, systematic uh, because you just uh, shifted uh, votes all uh, across all uh, counties. So maybe just a percentage of that. Let's do a certain percentage, okay? So percent of counties shifted, okay? So let's do a percentage percentage of counties shifted, okay? So let's uh, just shift uh, maybe 20%. And let's uh, just use uh, a drop down box here. So, what if we just do a 0%, uh, 5%, 15% of counties, uh, this uh, shifting happens 15% of time, or 20% of time, or 30% of time, or 40%, 50%, okay, so we just create these percentages. And uh, how do we make sure uh, we just uh, uh, select 30% uh, of these counties and do the vote shifting? Okay, so 30%. So we could do that by simply do a multiplication, a random number from zero to one. And uh, we can do a if function. Okay. If this random number smaller than or equal to 30%. So 30% of the chance your random number will be smaller than 30%. So if that's the case, we'll do the vote shifting. Otherwise, it's the same. Otherwise, we do not shift votes. Okay. So that's how we incorporate a percent of votes shifted. And we, once we have done this, we could uh, change this one to uh, plus a certain percentage. Basically, it's just a difference between these two. So this is difference. So because it's vote shifting. And in this case, we can see that uh, uh, we randomly selected 30% uh, of the voting districts and shifted 20% uh, uh, of votes. How about I do a uh, 5%? 5% has minimal impact here. How about let's do a 20%? 20%. So 20%, uh, and here, uh, one of the problems here is uh, this should be fixed to this, uh, to this one. So we need to have an absolute zero reference by this uh, dollar signs. So we need to double click here. And uh, now the, uh, the uh, formula is right. And 20%, uh, you see the curve started to change if we do 30% of districts. If we do 50%, if we do 5%, 
we observe some changes in this uh, column charts uh, when you do the vote shifting, but uh, overall, we really do not find uh, significant deviations from Benford's law. So the Benford's law cannot, cannot catch this uh, vote shifting behavior. And uh, in certain cases, it's not vote shifting, it's just uh, adding votes to one candidate. So instead of shifting votes, let's do that. Let's just add 30%, 35% vote to one candidate or, you know, to both candidates. Supposedly, it's going to, uh, to change the curves once that, uh, it, uh, that is changed. So we could just do one candidate and the other stay the same. So here, so we, we are going to stay the same for one candidate, for example, just stay the same. Okay. So this candidate uh, has no change. Okay, and uh, that's a red column chart. And suppose another candidate, uh, we just uh, randomly, so randomly for 30% of the districts, we add 35% of vote. 35% of vote, okay, let's do that. Okay, so we just uh, added a 35% of vote to 30% of the districts. And we don't see uh, any significant changes. How about we do a uh, 45%? Just adding more votes or adding 15% votes or just uh, apply to 10% of districts so or we could do let's say 50% and here let's say this is f2 right so f2 we need to do a function f4 so that I fix that uh, percentage to 50%. And here we can do 20%. And we see the changes in the chart. If there is no change in the chart, then the algorithm not right. So here, we do see some deviations here. And let's do a 60%. So you, you will find some deviations, but uh, not significant uh, in a significant way. And uh, of course, uh, we say this is uh, uh, adding 15% uh, uh, across that 20% uh, of counties equally. Uh, so we could make an argument, uh, not a 15% increase. It could be a random, uh, random percentage increase, random. Okay. So let's just do a random. Okay. So 15% of up to 15%. Okay, up to 15%. So we, we just add a random function here. And uh, you see the curve still conforms to the Benford's law if you change the percentage. So the summary is that uh, it's really hard to detect uh, vote shifting or adding votes. And the Benford's law uh, could not detect this. Uh, uh, behavior and uh, and uh, therefore uh, the uh, we, we need to find alternative methods to to detect such behavior and uh, the answers to the original questions posted uh, by uh, my YouTube followers basically we answer these questions by running these simulations. And uh, Benford's law could not uh, detect vote shifting or adding vote. And thank you so much for your attention and uh, hope you liked the video. See you next time.